Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and I'm back with some more UFC career modes with El Presidente Barack Obama. We uh, entered the octagon for the first time last time around. If you haven't checked out that video already, please do so. It's in the description and on screen now. But we won that bout and we are moving onwards and upwards. We've got a trickier opponent in Bryce Finch up next. But we're going to take a look at what training camp involves. We have uh, the option to train in just the basic gym, looks like in our garage. Uh, but uh, we do also have the option to spend some of our dollars and gain membership to a proper gym. This gym is FRC Legion. It's a wrestling club with French roots, so that will up my uh, uh, wrestling and ground ability, I suppose. And it looks like we have a number of different uh, training partners. Top level is going to be uh, Weidman. Uh, and it looks like each time we spar with some of these guys, we have the option to unlock some different moves, uh, some higher level moves, uh, and some perks as well. So that will be interesting. We'll get into that uh, in due course. Uh, but there's plenty of different sparring partners. So depending upon how you want to build your pro and, and build your fighter, uh, you can spar with some of these guys and just gradually build up your skill set. I like it. Uh, it's certainly uh, a little bit different to UFC 2 where really you just did a, a load of mini games. So let's purchase membership to this gym and see what it's all about. Um, I think we just need to schedule a training camp. So how many weeks can we do? We can do three weeks of training. That's going to cost us uh, another $1,800. Hey, this uh, this training work is not cheap. Um, $1,800 just for three weeks of training. Wow. Uh, so let's check out our upcoming fight. I think this must be where we go for our training. Yep. Yeah, so we can train, we can learn moves, we can promote the fight, or we can spar. Each of those take up weekly points. Uh, and sparring unlocks a key to victory. Uh, training, increasing my attributes. Let's take a look at this. So, it looks like a lot of these are ground game type of maneuvers. Ground and pounds, we can up our top game. Wrestling focuses on takedown, sprawl and shoot, takedown defense, uh, trap and strike, uh, submissions. Uh, and then we've got arm, arm positioning and transitions, which is working in the clinch. We do have some striking with some non-contact kickboxing. Um, some stair climb looks to improve our footwork and our blocking, so uh, just our maneuverability around the octagon. Ab wheel crunches, uh, focus on our on our heart and our strength. Uh, and bodyweight squats, yep, bodyweight squats, focusing on our overall strength and conditioning. So, some interesting stuff there. Uh, each of them take up a, a slightly different amount of points, so we're going to try and upgrade our striking first. Uh, and then let's take a look at something else. Um, maybe we want to have a look at uh, some of the other menus and uh, learning moves and perks. Yeah, let's have a look at what sort of moves that we can learn. That's going to take up 40 points. So, all right, so this is very, very similar. This is like the mini games that we had in the last game. You've got certain objectives. Lang three strikes from back side mount in 30 seconds. Land five punches from postured up half guard in 30 seconds. And doing these things are going to unlock some moves. So it looks like those are mini games. Yeah, and uh, we can only select basic training partners at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping as we move up the ranks and we beat some more fighters, our stature increases and so we can learn from bigger and better fighters and, and unlock better moves. Sparring, this uh, is practicing against the training partner that will emulate your upcoming opponent. Uh, it will gain fitness for the time spent sparring. Each session lasts a minute and a key to victory will be revealed for your upcoming fight. All right, so currently our fitness is 72%. That's listed as moderate. Bryce Finch is the opponent that we're going to have next time around. He's our next fight. He's a jiu-jitsu master. So we want to try and keep the fight on our feet. So here we go. We've got a minute. Uh, let's throw some punches and see. Oh, this guy is already more aggressive than our first fight. Oh, a few kicks, a few roundhouses to the midsection. Ah, oh, and he's throwing some punches to the head as well. All right, maybe I've got to be a little bit careful. Throw some punches. 
Let's try some hooks. There we go. We a nice hook landed there. We blocked their strikes. Oh, took a hook to the face. All right. So what are we doing? We can lean. Taking some more punches. Throwing some more jabs. I wonder if it's worthwhile just going balls to the wall and just absolutely hammering things with the aim of building up our fitness really quickly. Oh, he's going for the takedown. We defended that successfully. That's good. Let's move to the backside and throw some fists at his head. He's blocking that. Uh, and he manages to transition. Let's go to half guard. And he's... Uh, no, we don't have any advanced transitions, so there's not much more that we can do. The minute is up. And our fitness has gone from 72 all the way up to 92. So we didn't take much damage. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. Uh, I quite like that. And we've unlocked a key to victory. Your opponent cannot defend hooks. So use left or right sways to get in close and then land a hook. And our fitness is still moderate. Uh, and this will have a small impact on our stamina during our next fight. Interesting, interesting. So we're going to go back to training and see what sort of other things that we can do. Now, we know now that our fighter is a jiu-jitsu master. So let's focus on building up our takedown defense um, with the aim of trying to keep the fight on our feet. And we've got a small amount of uh, time to spend. Uh, looks like we could just do wrestling 101 to focus on our takedowns and our submission defense. So we'll do that. And then let's back out and return to the calendar and work out what's next. All right, so we just move on to week two. So same again, I suppose. Right, so I tell you what, I am not going to go through all full week, three weeks of this training and watch uh, so that you guys watch me just plow through menus. Um, I'm going to do some of this off screen. I'm just going to build up my attributes, probably promote the fight. I might get in an extra sparring session, but you don't necessarily need to see that. Um, and we'll move to the end of training camp. So, here we are. Three weeks of training camp done. We get a hype bonus for our last fight because we won it. Uh, because we've got a quality opponent, we also get a little bit more of a hype bonus. And we posted the fight to social media like I wanted to. So, the fight hype is still low, but uh, we've improved it slightly. So, hopefully that means we gain more fans if we win. Our fitness is quite high as well. It's up to 99. And here we are in the World Fighting Alliance. Here's the tail of the tape. Bryce Finch is obviously much younger than us, but he's same height, same weight. We have a slightly better reach. So let's try and keep Bryce Finch at bay. Here we go. Obama is in the octagon for the second time around. Hopefully this guy is slightly more aggressive. He wanted to touch fists, but... Uh, you know what? Let's get straight to it. A few punches. Oh, he certainly can't defend the hooks. Two hooks and he is down already. Wow. Let's move to side control. Probably don't want to spend too much time on the ground. Yep, he's transitioning out quite nicely. Move to the backside. Let's throw some punches. Oh, he's transitioned really quickly out of that. Can I transition? No, I can't. Okay, what's he going for? He's got my back. This is not good. Oh, he hits a big punch to the face. I want to get out of this. Let's get back to over under. And can I get a single leg takedown? Even though I've got low stamina, I do get the takedown. And let's just get up. Let's recover stamina. Take a little bit of a breather. It's early doors. One takedown each. Um, and this guy's been on the floor. So throwing hooks. Oh, he goes for the takedown. Ah, oh, I missed the takedown defense again. Let's get up. Let's get up. I want to keep this fight on my feet. Yep, you missed the kick. A few punches to the face. There's a hook that lands. And another one. And he's down. He really can't defend hooks. Come on. Ah, oh, another takedown. Ah, oh, he gets it again. I'm going for this takedown defense, but it's harder than it looks. He misses with another kick. I respond with a kick of my own. Oof, another couple of roundhouses to the midsection. He's liking that kick. We miss with a leg kick. Oh, another kick to the midsection. There you go. Roundhouse to the head. Oh, nice uppercut. Right, let's go back to the hooks. Let's go back to the hooks. Punch to the body. No, another takedown. Oh, don't manage to get the uh, denial again. 
So we've got to find a way out of this. Let's take the back and let's get up. Straight up back on our feet. And back to our hooks. Oh, three, four hooks in a row. Bryce Finch cannot defend hooks. He cannot defend hooks at all. And Obama wins his second fight in the octagon. Let's take another look at that. One. He goes down. Let's watch it again. One hook. Two hooks. Ha. Oh. Shake and bake, baby. Shake and bake. Obama is victorious. Winner by knockout. I like, the, I like the sparring. I like the fact that it gave you a key to victory and you can actually use it to win the fight. As you can see, pretty even. Uh, he got three takedowns. I just got the one from the clinch. But we definitely landed on with those hooks. Our longevity's down to 99.1. We gained 15 fans. We gained another $1,600. And in terms of our contract goals, we are halfway there. We've got to win another fight by stoppage. And we've got another win, another fight in the first round. Let's see what people are saying on social media. The fighter didn't even see that punch coming. He only saw it going back. And did the fighter even see that punch that Obama MMA got him with? Hashtag UFC. And there we go. That's what people have to say on social media about Obama. The hype is building, guys. The hype is building. El Presidente is building up a bit of a reputation. So let's recover from our last fight. We're doing well. Check out our next fight offer. How many people do we have on offer this time around? It looks like just one. Leo Ward, who is 11 and 2. It looks like our attributes are already better than his. We've got good grappling. We've got much better stamina, much better striking. And he's got a stupid little moustache that we're going to knock clean off his face. World Fighting Alliance 19. That's what's going to be up next time. Thank you ever so much for watching. I've been the Beanie 101. This has been UFC 3 Career Mode with El Presidente. Hit that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video. Check out my channel for some more UFC 3 and some NHL, some more sports gaming content. Plenty on there. Thank you ever so much for your time and your support. And I will catch you again in the next video.